So this piano is a Packard built by the same company that made the cars. And it was made in 1918. And it's really a, a well-built piano, which is nice because they're not all created equal. Each piano has a, different bells and whistles. Again, they're not all the same, uh, but we've got a, a sustain button here. Some of them are lever, some are a button because when you're pumping, you can't use the actual sustain pedal on the piano. And you've got a soft bass and soft treble to quiet each of those sections. If you've got a part in the roll that you want to accent or highlight, you can quiet one down. And then I have a silencer here, which just advances the roll. If you've got a, a roll with a lot of songs and you don't maybe say you don't like song two out of three, you can skip past that. Then I've got a tempo override if I want to just speed a part of the song up quick or slow it down again to kind of accent. And then the main ones are your tempo lever. Each roll at the beginning has a tempo uh, kind of suggested to taste tempo number that you set at. And then your your gear control, your re-roll and play, which all player pianos have. But a player piano is a piano with an extra set of fingers, as they say. So it has all the features of a regular piano, plus all the extra equipment to play by itself. So there are a lot of player pianos out there that when the player system originally failed, let's say back in the 40s or 50s, the player was taken out and thrown away and it was kept just to be played by hand. All right, so I'll put a roll in. We can see some of the, the moving parts go to town and see some of what's involved in taking holes on a paper and making music. But a lot of the components of a player piano are kind of hidden. And, and when I was first starting, I didn't realize, oh my gosh, these things are much more complex than they look on the surface. There. like I can show you kind of a crash course of some of the visible components of the player piano. So here we got the roll motor which a lot of people are familiar with. It drives the roll. It turns suction into rotary motion which is pretty neat. And your transmission which allows the roll to be either going forward or backward over what's the tracker bar which is somewhat of a representation of the keyboard of the piano. You've got one hole for, for one note and of course the papers correspond with how the music's arranged. And then this take up spool pulls that over. And then on the left, not all player pianos have this, but most do, is an automatic tracking device, which is always sensing the edges of the paper and make sure it stays aligned with the holes. Because as you heard at the end of that song, if the holes get off, if either the paper is damaged or the tracker's malfunctioning, it just sounds weird and, and terrible. And then below that, not visible, when it's installed is all of the pneumatics that play the piano action and then the over 100 feet of tubing to spread out those holes and trigger the pneumatics that play the, the piano. And then down below is kind of the, the lungs of the piano. So when I'm pumping, there are bellows down here and I'm, I'm creating a suction with these exhausting bellows. And then there's reservoirs here that are always keeping an amount of suction available for the stack. So if there's more notes, more demand for this from the stack and from the roll, these will allow that to maintain a somewhat of a constant volume. And of course the pedals, 
Now, no matter how fast I pedal, doesn't make doesn't make the roll go any faster. It's just pumping harder will make the music louder because there is a tempo regulator over here that, when working properly, always keeps that as a at a constant tempo. Because without that, it'd be very hard to keep the music going steadily, and it'd be very awkward sounding. And on the left, we've got an automatic sustain. A lot of rolls have the the coating cut in them to play automatically the sustain pedal since we can't access that when we're pumping. And then we've got soft bass and soft treble on each side of the cabinet that move the hammers forward and make those sections of the piano quieter. This is our family piano. It's been in the family since my mom and uncles were kids. And when my grandparents sold their house, it was brought here and it's where I've always known it to be and grew up with it. I think my grandpa and uncles refinished it sometime in the 50s or 60s, and it, it turned out pretty good. And about 10 years ago, I took it on to repair it. It had fallen out of service, and the player system inside had kind of given up the ghosts. And I refurbished it and got it going again and got the foot pumps working. When it was here when I was a kid, it was never working with the foot pumps. It was only electric. So I got that going again, which was neat because that's how my... My uncles and mom knew it when they were kids. My grandparents would have dance parties in the basement and they'd pump away with some of these rolls we have here. So that's pretty cool. So these rolls back here are the rolls that my grandparents and my mom and uncles had growing up. So the, the rolls that I know that are kind of original to me and not necessarily original to the piano, but a lot of the rolls they would use during dance parties and in, in the basement. My uncles would, would pump the piano and they'd get little tips here on, on, on the side of the piano. People would give them give them some money for pumping. And I guess they'd often have a lot of dance parties. So some of these rolls were, were danced to and, and pumped by my family, which is pretty cool because it's neat to put them in and have the, them relive some of that experience all over again. It's really neat. And then now I've gotten to grow up with some of them and, and like the songs. What's been neat about this is sometimes people will, will give me rolls, they get rid of their piano and just want to give them to a new home or I'll, I'll buy a lot of them, just kind of a bulk. Uh, assortment of roles or even with the roles here I kind of go through them I have no idea what the song is like but it's opened me up to all this old music that I never would have been exposed to which has been neat because I've gotten to discover songs from the, the tens and twenties that I, I find just exciting on the player piano and never would have encountered otherwise you know there are tens of thousands of song on piano roll because you know back in the tens and twenties it was the way to get piano music into your home if you weren't playing by hand so there's all sorts of songs you know, some are really well arranged and some aren't arranged so well. So there's a whole variety of, of not only quality, but arrangements and arrangements that use the features of the piano and, and really use it well. And it's, it's fun playing and pumping the piano by foot. You can be involved with some of the dynamics through how hard you're pumping and also the controls here. You can really be involved in some of the artistry of the music, which is pretty cool.